I've got a four part Facebook ads formula that I wanna share with you that you can use um, right now. And uh, part one is the hook. Um, part one of any successful Facebook ad is always the hook. The hook uh, is sometimes called the attention capture or the call out phase, but whatever you wanna call it, the objective is always the same. And that is to get someone's attention. But here's the thing, you don't just wanna get anyone's attention. You want to get your ideal target market's attention. And the best way to do that is to call them out ideally with some form of a question. When you do this, uh, well, two very interesting things start to happen. First, um, when your target market hears something that's interesting or relevant or specific to them, their brain naturally switches on and they tune in and pay attention automatically, whether they want to or not. If you manage to make your hook or your call out or attention capture a question, well, their brain subconsciously have to answer that question. And again, they do it automatically without even thinking. And um, an easy example of this is to ask you a question right now. Are you thirsty? Well, whether you are or not, the fact that you um, that I asked a question, your brain automatically came up with an answer. The same thing works with your customers. Um, so by asking them a question in your ad, it automatically makes it more engaging and more interesting and more relevant. It's not magic, it's just science. So now that you've got their attention, part two is to introduce the problem now you're going to, that you're going to be solving. Um, now we're only a few words into the ad. So where many people start to go wrong here um, the, is that they uh, get to the problem as quickly as possible, right? Or no, the key, <laughs> some people get wrong. The key here is to get to the problem as quickly as possible. Uh, in many cases, the hook and the problem can be the same. For example, if you sell food, well, your hook can be hungry, uh, which is both a question and a call out and a problem all wrapped in one delicious taco or whatever food that you happen to be selling is. Um, the big thing though here is that you wanna spend most of your time um, on their pain, their problem and the current reality that your prospects are living in. Um, what's wrong with it is what's, what is bad and what's costing your customers to not have this problem um, solved for bonus points. You can use, you know, one of my favorite copywriting frameworks of all time, um, the PASS, which stands for Problem Agitate Solve. We've already talked about identifying the problem, um, the agitate is where you kind of beat them up mentally a little bit, which doesn't sound nice when you say it out loud, but the reality is, you know, no pain, no action. So then you have to solve um, for a, or a solution. Uh, so let's talk about that next part, all right? So at this point of the ad, you've hooked them, you've introduced them to the problem, you've maybe put in a little bit of salt in the wound or, uh, you know, whatever. And so at this point, Point. Part three is you want to introduce your product or your service or your offer or whatever it is that you're selling. Now, keep in mind that this product or service that you offer um, could be as simple as a, you know, a free download or something a little bit more intensive, like getting them to buy now or fill out an application or whatever the point is, um, your, you know, whatever you're presenting should be the solution to the problem that you just dug up in the past point. Um, after, after all, there's no point in making someone feel bad and then not offering a solution. That's just mean, right? And so in part two, you highlighted a problem and in part three, you're presenting a solution to help them get over that problem. And of course, the usual sales tactic applies here of making sure to emphasize the benefits alongside the features to make sure that your solution is relevant and interesting to them. And most importantly, it's, uh, highlighting how your offer, um, you know, or your product or your service can help them bridge the gap from the painful place that they're at right now, right? Uh, to the desired end state where they ultimately want to end up. Next though, uh, we come with my, with what might be the single most important part of the call to action. And that is the call to action. Sorry, jump the gum, jumped the gun a bit there. I don't know what it is with me today. Uh, or the CTA. The goal of the CTA at this point of the ad is to do all of the heavy mental lifting for your customer and tell them exactly what to do next. Uh, now, the time to get creative or be overly clever is not now, right? You wanna, you wanna spell it out very simply um, so that they'll take the single next step and you know get them one step closer to their desired end state, right? So when your call to action is confusing or worse than you know when you don't have one at all, then your customer, you know, 
is left kind of confused and wondering what to do next. And that's not good for anyone, right? So those are all the tips I have for right now. If you have anything else to add, leave in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.